right guys, gonna show you quickly um do some sprites first uh how to create an extension function uh, for game maker so you've got yeah custom functions uh, we'll just call this in red I don't do as a player um I don't need anything else don't even need any physics on them. just boom and create an object g underscore player give it a red spray and create room or um, test 60 and it's done oh, actually gotta put the object actually I'm not gonna put the object in there because that's what I'm gonna do and we'll create another object and we'll get a spray we'll call OBJ creation and what you call leave up there <coughs> I think I've got everything I need so if we're going to create an extension we'll call this player stuff right. and create and then we'll go in another placeholder a gml and then we'll go and create another function now go on a function, we've got properties and go player underscore create player underscore create basically it's just going to be the name of your function and what it is when you call it um, we're going to have an object with an x and with a y and that is your arguments um, in the help within GML language so if you like right player create then it's going to come up and give these arguments that it's needing uh, basically open I'll open an editor first because that's a bit easier right, so player object equals argument argument zero and so you know what that is um we'll just go back in here and then argument zero is the object and then player x equals argument okay spell argument one and that is going to be the x and the player y as you probably guessed is going to be argument to um, all the argument cases start in an array and as you probably already didn't realise array start at zero so basically uh, f Player object equals uh, let's see how do they do this? Something like uh, if player object equals, equals argument zero, then instance underscore create uh, player x player y and obj underscore player okay, so basically what this is saying is if um, player object equals oh, player object equals argument zero then it's gonna uh, do this line of code. So if is equal an object defined by ob 
a function here and just go create. Right, so basically that there is gonna run that, right? You get that? That's GML, we've got to rename we're gonna put call close stuff. We're gonna call that clear underscore create dot gml. I don't want a double p. There we go. Dot gml. Right. Um, but we we'll know we need to shut that. Oh wait. Something right here. There we go. Uh, if we shut that, um, and open up an explorer, because uh, in Game Maker Studio, the if you make an extension within Game Maker Studio, it's not going to open. Um, it's not going to open. But it's not going to make the code the correct way the code's supposed to be made, so you're going to get an issue. Uh, like, example, there you go. I just opened that code, and that code should have been there. Uh, open that, don't I? No code. Cancer. So, if I uh, load code, um, there is a button explorer. So I send projects, where's projects, projects, send game maker on my documents, right? So if you load, we go in my documents, game maker, projects, look for tutorial, if I can find it, extension tutorial, there we go. And extensions, and player stuff. And then, Let's see. See, this is the sort of stuff that happens every day. And hopefully this will be the code break. There's the code. Copy that code. We've got to put it in here. And at the top of the code we need to define that show function. So you have to define player create. So if you do that and save, and then we go back to Game Maker. So right, let me just re look at that. Right, look. So you open up Visual Studio and you add just that top line, um, the top line being defined player character, which defines the function within Game Maker. So, no. No. So we've got to save that, that's saved. We've got resources, like extension package, player stuff, activate the package, that's package activated. Now, I should be able to go into creation code and say player underscore create um, obj underscore player 10 10. Just for quickness. Done. So now I click play, you should see the get a unable to find function player create. Okay. See if the code doesn't save properly, this is what you're gonna get. This is the error line you're gonna get. Error on load, unable to find function player create, right? So that clearly Yes. Right, so what we do here is export extension, right? So export the extension to anywhere. I'm just going to do it in my documents and we'll call it player underscore create. We'll save it. And we're going to delete this. Yes. We've got the resources, select extension package, we'll go install, we'll go install. 
Got a document there. Great. Now I can find it. Okay. What she can be undo. No, we can't undo. Great. Jim, let's see. So, if we new just grab this, let me drag this in here. There's an issue. Define where underscore create. Boom. We save that. We go to Game Maker. Load. Still unable to find function. Seems to be active right now, right? Okay. Open Explorer. Open Visual Studio. Define player underscore create. Save. Back to Game Maker. And as you see, well, we read box of oh, a red box has been created in the top right corner where we'd asked it to be created. Um, that is a pretty long way to do the functionality of running an extension in, but as you see, I came up with a few errors there. And just for trouble troubleshooting during uh, making the video. Hopefully, you guys will be able to um, figure out how to make extensions and use it within your games to make your games a wee bit more easier to develop and a bit quicker as well. And on that note, guys, I'm going to leave you and I'll catch you next time. Peace.